What's up guys, Ghost here, playing some Link's Awakening. It's my first Switch playthrough that I'm going to be putting up here, and I am super excited to be playing this. I've been meaning to play it pretty much since it came out, but I just like so many games, I just never got to it, but I am already loving this cartoon. Like, it reminds me of when I was a kid. I'm a 90, I was legitimately a 90s kid, nine, so I love this style of animation. <laughs> Seems 90s to me. Maybe I sound like an idiot. Maybe it's not 90s at all, but for some reason it's just maybe it's just the nostalgic look. Oh, I, I the the artwork in this game is just so cute too. I'm assuming you're supposed to. Are you supposed to be Zelda? I I never played the original Link's Awakening because I don't know why. I just never it, I, I never got to it for whatever reason. But I am a huge fan of. The Legend of Zelda series in general, so I'm trying to fill in some gaps here too by playing this. I obviously can't wait for Breath of the Wild 2 later this year. I don't know if that's what it's literally going to be called or not, but couldn't be any more excited for that. But that was a pretty cool transition at the beginning there, going from the cartoon right into the... I don't know, what would you call this style of artwork? Besides adorable. Oh, right into the classic music. Let's see, hero, take twice as much damage with no heart drops or advanced players. Let's do our first playthrough on normal. Enter your name, sure, why not? We'll just be Link for now. Makes sense. Yeah, so this is a completely blind playthrough, so I'm pretty excited to see where this goes. <laughs> What a relief. Oh, so you're not Zelda at all, you're someone else. So I'm, again, this is a completely blind playthrough, so I don't know how these characters, uh, obviously other than Link, or what characters are in this game, or how this relates to anything else in the Zelda series. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? I'm not a voice actor at all, by the way. I'm just reading being silly, just for my own entertainment. No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. I don't know what your accent is. You are on Ko Ho Koho Lint Island. Oh, wow. That an that, anim that walking animation is going to take some getting used to. <laughs> Is this a sp after playing? I was lucky enough to get a PS5, and after playing PS5, that movement feels really strange. Is this a stand or so stand for something? It says Piranha Plant. How funny! So obviously a reference to Mario, the classic. Oh no, we can't lift the we can't lift the uh, the classic crates yet, or the the little uh, Jesus. What would you even call those vases? Check. No, that's still that. <laughs> What else do you have to say, buddy? Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? <laughs> All right. Jesus, game is freaking adorable. <clears throat> yeah, it's so funny, because normally... Oh, let's talk to this guy first. Terran. So Marin and Terran, that's easy enough. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're, feel, oh, hope you're feeling better. I picture you being Scottish, but I'm not going to attempt that accent. What? What? How did I know your name? Oh, that was the worst accent ever. You think it's weird, eh? Well, now you're Canadian, I guess. Well, I saw it on back of this shield. Oh, sweet. Jesus, took me to the end of the... And a Breath of the Wild to get the Hylian shield. <laughs> you got the shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. Sweet. Alright, well that was quick. Oh, this is this is so cute. What do we got in the drawer? Hey, what are you doing in my chest? Where'd you learn to do such a thing? Alright, guess that's all that's in here. I don't think this game is too long, so we should be... I think it's something like I saw on HowLongToBe.com. It's something between 12 and 14 hours, so we should be able to explore most nooks and crannies and still finish it in a reasonable amount of time. Mabe or Mabe? I am not sure. Can you pick up... Yes, you, of course you can. <laughs> I love the chain chomp, too. What is this, a Raichu? An Eevee? No, it's just a fox. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep, yep. You must be friends with Appa. Yep, yep. 
Yeah, it's so funny to be playing this because because my my main channel, is, I, 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 uh, I, I, my favorite my favorite type of games are uh, Souls games, specifically from software games. So it's so funny to go from playing like Bloodborne and Dark Souls to playing Link's Awakening. But these types of these types of games, Switch games, don't it don't really obviously fit in with that sort of content. So I just wanted somewhere to. But I still love playing Switch games, so I wanted somewhere to dump this sort of content, so that's why I'm putting it here. Grandma Yahoo. Yahoo, I'm fine, and you? <laughs> uh, I'm 32, and that's hilarious to me. Old man Ulrira? Ahem, how to say. Please call outside. It seems that old man Ulrira is a shy guy in person. Old man, how to say, please call. All right, dude, I don't know what you want. <laughs> you got some soup for me? You're doing some knitting? Nope, still can't lift. You must have a way, there must be a way to level up my strength as I as I go. Is this for another piranha plant? It says cheap, cheap. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm gonna feel the need to look in like every one of these buildings at the beginning. Who are we calling? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's ringing for us. Bring, bring, hello, it's me, Ulrira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Okay, so he's like our information. There's a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later. Click. What's up, buddy? Hey, man. When you want to save, hit up. Hit up the system screen. You get there by opening the subscreen, pressing out. Pressing R to get to the system screen. Don't ask me what that means. I'm just a kid. <laughs> All right, cool. So, might as well save. Mabe Village. I got to find out whether it's Mabe or Mabe so I don't sound like an idiot the whole playthrough. And I like to know anyway. What? I can't even pick up grass? You weakling. I overpowered the crap out of you in Breath of the Wild. What happened? <laughs> Can I block the chain chomp? Or does he... Oh, shoot. No, it's R, not L. Not L2. It's R2. Oh, it does block you, I think. Or are you a pet? Do you not, do you not harm me anyway? I would love to get some sort of sword. I don't know if, I don't know if the Master Sword's in this game or not. I doubt you would get it right at the beginning. My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. Fur coat, that was made out of metal. <laughs> All right. Is this a stand for something It says Chow Chow? I, so I wonder what goes on all these stands. Maybe collectibles of some sorts. May Village. It's a hot tub. Or how do we get up? Can we not get up there yet? Yo, pass me the ball. Toss the rock, bro. Uh, I think they're clowning me. I heard that you press minus to look at the island map. Not only that, you can stick pins in it with A. Okay. I don't understand what they mean by that. All right, cool. Don't worry, I got you, bro. Go find a big fairy. Oh, cool, the fountain fairies must be in this game. The writing is on the other side. <laughs> All right, you got me. Tail cave. Toronbo Shores. All right. Oh, this is the library that I was talking about. The properties of warp points. Okay. Oh, cool. So that'll make things easy later. Warp points. So this. Okay. So this is all the information they were talking about. Fun with bombs. How do I use bombs? After you put a bomb down, you can pick it up by pressing A again, then throw it by pressing A. Standard stuff. <laughs> Nothing. Any more brain busters? Selecting the item that's right for you. Sure. All right, I'm not going to read every single one of these now. Subscreen, blah, blah, blah. X and Y. What is this? This is maps and memories. Cool. Secrets of the Whirling Blade. Okay, I would love a sword. It'd be nice to have it so I could practice the technique. 
cool, so charge attack. Can you master this? But um, I mean, is that hinting at the master sword or is that just a uh, coincidence? How to handle a shield like a pro, sure. Is there any secret technique? Technique, hold R besides standard shield. There's a mirrored variety that can reflect beams. That's useful. Dark secrets. Shit, yeah, I wanna know the dark secrets. You can't read this tiny print without the aid of magnifying lens. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, what do we got up here? Can I read that book? This is a bookshelf. What, you can see that? <laughs> God, this game is so charming. Can I get the apples? Do those do anything for you or no? Nah? Should we dive down there? Is that a dungeon? Oh, those damn octopus. Those things piss me off so much. Oh, are you kidding me, Brat? Don't worry, I will be back for you. I am gonna lay you out once I get a once I get a sword. Those things piss me off so much in uh it's so weird. I haven't played a game that has can you move you can go diagonally. I forget what you call that. Omnidirectional is any directional, right? What's it or it is where you can go in literally any direction. What what's it called when you can only go in eight oct to something or other? What do these do? I feel like I shouldn't be venturing, venturing this far. I feel like I need to go back and grab a weapon. I'm already losing health. Oh, Jesus. Well, it'd probably be useful to run with my shield up. All right, so you slow down a little bit when you raise your shield. Let's see. Again, I mentioned it towards the beginning. Do I wanna go in here? Is this a dungeon? Oh, okay, that's... All right, well, now I see that those are just holes in the ground and not dungeons. Yeah, like I mentioned at the beginning, this is a totally blind playthrough. I, I missed this game when I was a, when I was a kid, so I, this is all gonna be brand new to me. So this is a totally a blind playthrough right now. Let's see, it's gonna, I need a key, keyhole here. It says tail keyhole, okay. All right, that looks like it's for probably much later. Oof. Dodging your crapola like the Matrix. Don't you guys need water? Why are you running around on land? Damn it, we need a sword so we could have content for the episode. You wouldn't know where a sword is, would you? I don't believe I'm supposed to be going that way. Alright, that was my house, right? Where did they tell me to go? Maybe I should actually pay attention to where they said to go. Yeah, what did you say again? Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful. Some other stuff like... Some other stuff like this. Alright. Yeah, it'd probably be useful to actually uh, follow the directions that the characters give you. That's generally why game developers put that in the game, so you know where to generally look. Here sleeps the flying rooster. Okay. Let me just check this. Is this a shop? And then we'll head towards the beach. Oh, that's funny. You actually carry it over. What if you just try to walk out? What does he do if you just try to leave with it? Oh, okay, he's pissed. All right, so we don't have any rupees yet. All right, Mabe Village. Yeah, I'm really liking the artwork in this game. It's a, it's such a nice change of pace to uh. Like I said, most of my favorite, a lot of my favorite games have really uh, kind of darker artwork, like uh, Dark Souls and Bloodborne. And uh, I've been playing a crap load of Demon Souls lately, which is the remake is a little brighter, is a uh, is a little brighter. But a lot of my favorite games aren't this uh, like cartoony looking. So this is like a, this is a nice change of pace. Shoot, we only already have a half a heart left. No, already gone the wrong way. We might be done. This game is harder than Bloodborne. 
Oh, what? What? <laughs> but yeah, it's just such this is such a kind of refreshing game to look at visually. Oh, shite. Fail Un uninstalling. Uninstalling the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, retry. Well, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Oh my god, are you sh are you shitting me? It literally just starts you from where you uh from where you uh die. Well, that's that's also gonna be nice. Okay, all right. Well, at least if you fail, it just sets you back to where you were. All right. Oh, I can move you. Jesus, it's right there. I just assumed that was blocked off. Yes. Yo, take that, bro. What are you doing? Owl, who, who? So you were the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Who? 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 Thanks, buddy. Those love owls. Owls are so cool. Just that, just how they symbolize knowledge and wisdom. Makes me want to read. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. You can swing it with B to attack any enemies in your path. Sweet. What about you? Oh, even you. Oh, you guys are all done now. Oh, you're all done now. Oh, wow, this is significantly easier with a damn sword. Wow, OP early. How to be OP 17 minutes into the game. All right, yeah, you guys are all done now. Get over here, son. Oh, I don't even need the shield anymore, bro. Oh, you don't even know about the running, the running spin attack. Yo, I've been practicing with the Dragon Bone Smasher. You better watch out. Oh, we already got a chest early too. Oh, uh, still, still needs to hit the, still needs, still missed uh, International Chest Day. Link, you must have missed International Chest Day. Oh, can I push these? No, I can't. All right, so that's the same mechanic: lift and push. Can I drag? Nope. All right. Mm, is there any other direction? Nope, guess not. Guess I'll have to come back for that later. Have to remember that there's a chest located on the south beach. Oh! Oh my god! A monkey! Are you kidding me? Are those... Are you, chug, are you throwing those at me? Are you, are you kidding me, bro? I was gonna be your friend, buddy. I was going to be your friend. But now I'm gonna have to come back for you, too. We still can't pick up simple plants. I am really hoping there's some sort of sprint mechanic at some point. Because <laughs> he kind of moves a little painfully slow. Actually, I guess it's not that slow relative. I guess he is tiny relative. It's funny too, I guess that's another thing. I haven't played a game. Let's read some of these. Beware of sea urchins, don't touch them with your bare hands. <laughs> I haven't played a game where the character appears this small on the screen for a while. So this is kind of, kind of unique to get used to as well. So now I guess we could head north, like the owl said. Hopefully I'm not missing anything that's too obvious. On my first playthrough of games, I kind of like to try to play them as, as blind as I can without looking anything up. Oh wait, are you kidding me? Moblins ahead, oh my god. I guess I probably still can't go this way. I like to try to play games the first playthrough. I like to try to run through without actually looking anything up. I just find I get, I just find games are more interesting and, and fun that way. And then maybe if there's really cool stuff I missed, I'll go through again. No record set yet. Give it a try. Fishing? No, oh, I don't think I have any money. How do you get rupees in this game? fishing ponds. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey friend, you came outside. Or where? No, you were here before. Taryn went to the fort. No, you weren't. 
Taryn went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called The Ballad of the Windfish. Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> All right. Ballad of the Windfish. Oh. Let's see. So we're st still not going to be able to go here. What is this? Oh, hey guys. What are you? Mamasha. With four boys who look alike, even I get confused sometimes. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. I saw one at the trendy game, but I couldn't get it. All right. Papa, yep, those are my... Those, those are my boys. I'm my Paul. Please to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. You hear? You heard? All right, and that's just the same house. Cool. What's up, friend? What are you doing? <laughs> After you save, you start from the last place, unless it's a dungeon where you start at the entrance. Because I'm just a kid. <laughs> That's a funny way that the devs just explained that off. Let's see. Uh, Ukuku Prairie. Farther East Animal Village. Alright. So I guess we're going there later. So how do I get into the forest? That I feel like it's kind of indicating that's where I should go. Yeah, I'm really hoping there's a sprint button at some point. That's what she said, right? Taryn went to the forest to look for toad souls, but I was saying. <laughs> All right. Fishing pond. That's not where we're going. Mysterious forest. Oh my god, Jesus, are you shitting me? You could just do that. I should have known that from playing Link to the Past. Ooh, mysterious forest. Trying to keep these episodes around half an hour, I think would be about a good length of time. So we still have a little bit of time here. Ho, oh, oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the wind fish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The wind fish is watching. I believe I did see that. That must be that place I went to where the key was. All right, let's find a key. It's funny getting used to a character that's left-handed too. It's funny, Link's gotta be one of the few characters in video games that's left-handed. I guess Artorius, Link, there's a couple. <laughs> so how hard is this? So this is gonna be a very button mashy game. It feels like already. Can he? Oh, you could swing while you have your sword up too, and pretty much just be invincible. Oh Jesus! Oh God! Getting too cocky. All right, the old two directions. All right, I'm gonna need some help. Oh, that's so cute. What is this little raccoon? Are you friendly or nah? Are you, are you, what are you, friend or foe? Are you a friend? As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Hmm. What can we give you that's dust or powder? That would be funny. <laughs> or maybe you would, you're gonna be lost thanks to me. What? Hmm. I have no idea what that was about. Oh, did you just chuck me in a random location? What a jerk. I thought you were going to be cool. Oh, you're an enemy too. Alright. So those holes are literally holes. They're not cool dungeons or anything. Alright, so health isn't too difficult to come by, so that's good. Ooh, first dungeon, or what is this? Beware of floors with cracks. Don't get too comfortable on them. All right, so remember that's there. I kind of want to look around a little bit. Get our bearings. Yeah, there you are. 
You jerk. <laughs> Kinda just wanna check this way first, then we'll go in that little... Nice, we're actually collecting some Do-Re-Mi now too, getting some Moolah. Ooh, nice, give me that blue rupee. Give me those five. I haven't been noticing, by the way, do they respawn every time you leave the screen? I feel like they do. I feel like they respawn every... I feel like these guys respawn every time you leave the uh, area. All right, let's see what's in here. Nice. I believe this is our first dungeon. Or at least a small one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I was totally not paying attention to the fact that those are... I was totally not paying attention to those are correct. All right, so we're going to have to think about this. Can I... St I probably still can't move these, though. Or can I move those at all? Oh, what is that in the corner? I didn't even see that. All right, is there going to be a way to move this rock yet? you got a piece of powder. You can feel the energy flowing through you. All right, so I'm going to have to use that on the raccoon so he doesn't... You know what? Let's just go this way real quick. How long does this effect last on me? Is it a limited amount of time? It doesn't look like we're going that way yet anyway. Because I gotta go near the raccoon with this. Because he said he's sensitive to the powder. Beat it, nerd. You too. Oh, oh, he means business. Oh, Jesus. You're pretty tough, huh? Oh, no! The powder went away! The powder effect went away. Do I not have a... I feel like I'm not really dealing any damage to him. Do I have to somehow get behind him? Oh, there we go. You block him and then hit. There we go. That's kind of cool. Nope. Still can't move stuff. Alright, so it's saying... So, Link doesn't get any stronger. Obviously. Now that I'm thinking about it. So... There's going to be some kind of tool that's going to let me move those, or maybe the bombs. Maybe once we pick up his bomb, Link's bombs will be able to move that. Ooh, oh, Cole and Prairie. We made it through the forest, but I didn't... I did not go to... Oh, shit, you just... All right, well, let's stay clear of you. So we're going to eventually be able to traverse these holes, is what that tells me. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so... I love the little twist on the classic music. Crazy, on the classic themes, Crazy Tracy, Man Goes Pond. Oh my god, it's still one of my favorite themes in all of gaming, regardless of console or anything. Oh, what is that? What is that in the pond? That's pretty cute. <laughs> Actually, it's not that cute, but what is in here? God, there's so many fun things to explore. These episodes are going to be hard to... Oh, a full-out wi witch house. Oh, what's up, little buddy? Witch, double-double, toil and trouble. A toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. Double... Oh, you just said the same thing. All right. I'm going to have to come back to you. Nothing on your book. All right, well... We're about coming up on half an hour here. And this is a pretty easy to remember spot that we've gotten to. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the first episode there. Uh, thanks for checking out my very first episode of Switch. Uh, Switch playthroughs. Sorry if I'm not too lively. It's uh, about one in the morning when I started recording this. So I can't be too loud. But anyway, thanks for coming. Uh, hope you got... I'm not the type of person who yells and screams really anyway. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. Hope you have a good uh, night. I will see you tomorrow in episode two. Have a good one. Peace.